All right, this time we're looking at the quiz review uh, for 10.1 to 10.2, which is our exponential function equations. Um, so I already went in, it says evaluate, and I already went in and I put this negative three into my equation where I need to put it in my calculator. So on my calculator, <clears throat> I'm gonna put in six times two, and I'm going to raise my two with my little carrot to negative three. And that gives me 0.75. So that's all they're doing in this section. This actually goes up here, is 0.75. They're only asking you to put that number in and figure out what you're gonna get. So this is the answer to number one, 0.75. All right, next section. Determine whether the table represents a linear or exponential function. Include an explanation of how you know. All right, so I went and I figured out what the difference is, what the steps are, the intervals are, how we got here between the different ones. And over here, to get from here to here, we multiply by three. From here to here, multiply by three. Here to here, multiply by three. So I know that this is exponential. And then I would write because we're multiplying by three. Over here, we're going up, but we're adding the same number each time. So I know that that is definitely linear. Linear has to do with adding or subtracting and exponential has to do with multiplying. All right, next section. Identify the y-intercept. All right, so back to my board from a previous video. The y-intercept is my first number. So in this equation, my y-intercept is seven, but we need to write it as an ordered pair. And then describe that the values will increase. <clears throat> so this is 0.8, so this is going to decrease because it would be decreasing less than one. Here, ooh, they have an invisible one in front of it. So my y-intercept is zero, one and it's a six, so we would be increasing. All right, let's take a look at our next section. Write an equation that matches the description. All right, so we have to put our pieces together now. So we need our y-intercept, which is here, so we'll start that. So y equals eight, and I'm gonna put that in parentheses to know I'm multiplying. And my common ratio in this case, or my decay factor, is one third. And then we put x in. All right, let's try another one. Let's try one with a growth factor this time. Our y-intercept, in my notes, y-intercept is my first value, and that is three. Growth factor is four getting bigger, it's growing, so I know this increasing. Oh, and don't forget the x, because we're an exponential. All right, let's take a look at this section down here. So between here and here, we have to figure out what's going on. And then we need to find the y-intercept. Well, my y-intercept's when x equals zero. I don't have that, so I need to use this whatever we figure out here, and then go backwards to get that. So I put this in my calculator before, and to go from here to here, I'm multiplying by 0.75. So to go the opposite direction, the opposite of multiply is to divide. So I would divide 81 by 0.75. and I get 108. So my y value is 108. So now I can write my equation. I know from earlier and from my other board that we were writing with, my y value is my first number, then I put this in, my common ratio, and then x. All right, let's take a look at the back side where we have t-charts and graphing. <clears throat> All right, the first thing you need to remember 
is that you're going to use your intervals. You're going and you're going to put that number in your equation for x and come out with a y value. And then graph them on here. In this case, you will be increasing, and in this case, you will be decreasing. Give it a try.